All right, guys, what's up? Tonight we're going to be going over Obito Uchiha. It is currently 2.30 a.m. Eastern Time, but hey, you know, I'm a night owl. Might as well make some Naruto videos while we're at it. We're going over Obito Uchiha, War Obito, Unmasked Obito, because he's been highly requested a lot for a while now. I know Toby's also requested. I know uh, Asuma's requested. They will get done. Um, I also need to do the rest of the Jin Chirukis. And I know people are requesting range characters like Daedara or Daedra, whatever you want to say. Um, Ukataka, which I have no idea where the future rookies are. Oh, right here. This guy, Shino. And I really don't understand how I would make a guide for these characters because they're pretty much just, just stay back and press the square button. So I don't know. Maybe I'll try it out as a sort of joke. And if I like it, I'll upload it. If not, then I won't. So we're just going to jump into Obito Uchiha. He is a cover fire character. Keep that in mind. We're gonna take Kakashi with us. He has two jutsus. Fire style bomb blast dance, fire style fireball jutsu. Now, you know, fireball jutsu, always a solid jutsu, nothing too special. We're gonna stick with bomb blast dance because it's a unique jutsu to him, I believe. And it, it's really cool. It just kind of reminds me of like a shotgun, you know? It has a really widespread AOE, which is area of effect. It doesn't go that far, but it's really good for just stopping uh, assist characters that want to charge at you, like Naruto, regular Naruto, Rasengan, Sasuke, Shidori, um, dynamic entry from Guy, etc. So, we're gonna take that with us. And we're gonna go beat up, uh, Madara, because why not? Now, this is actually my second time recording this because... I just wasn't happy with, with the first video's content, because I'm, I'm a little tired, so I, I, I dropped a lot of combos, um, I sort of rambled a bit, the video went on a little longer than it should have, so, I'm just re-recording it now. So also, remember guys, um, what's it called? Think, 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 think. Uh, One Piece, Burning Blood, is coming out August, uh, April 21st. I might not get it that same day, because I'm having it imported, or pretty much I have to wait till I get the right PSN cards, but whatever, I am going to be getting it before the American release on May 31st. So if you guys are looking forward to One Piece Burning Blood, which is pretty much a One Piece game, but it plays like this. It's not as flashy, it's more technical, kind of like, like more fighter based. Um, so if you like One Piece or want to see more 3D anime fighters, definitely stick around and we will get to that and cover that. So we're going to start going over Obito right now. So here we go. Let's go over his basic stuff. Uh, tilt. Why not? So there's his tilt. He throws a stick in the ground. And if you miss your opponent, it stays there for a little bit and then pops into trees. If it hits your opponent, it detonates upon impact. Also, as always, the opponent is set to block when damage rebound when possible. Making sure every combo we do is in fact a true combo. Now, that was his tilt. Here's his grab. See, this grab would be better if that range was extended by at least a little bit. But since it's not that long of a range grab, and it's and it's slow on top of that, it it's pretty average, maybe even below average. I don't know. Definitely not the best grab. Now you could do something like this if I can do it right. Let me see. See, there you go. And that works because Obito's startup air attack is very um, it's very fast, and he gets on the ground fast. Not as fast as, uh, I said fast like three times, Jesus. Not as fast as uh, Taka Sasuke, if you ever look in my description and see the Taka, Taka Sasuke silly video. Um, so yeah, Obito can do that if you wanted to. Now, his Jutsu. Now, this is what I meant when it's like a shotgun AoE effect. Pretty much, it doesn't really have much distance, but you can see how wide it is. So if an opponent tries to dash in or throw in an assist, they will absolutely get roasted. Now, another attribute of the shoes to it, it sets the opponent on fire and it causes a heavy knockdown as you saw. Now, when you're in that heavy knockdown state, you can't be hit, as you saw there, but you could throw some kunai or shuriken. There you go. You can do something like that. So now that we went over his jutsu, tilt, and grab, let's just go over his combos, basically showing you the moveset like I always do. Neutral combo. There you go. Down combo. Up combo. There we go. And now for the air combo. Oh god. Alright. So, now that you've seen all his combos, let's discuss which one's the best one for him. Starting with the worst. Worst combo is definitely the, down, the, the, the neutral combo. Because 
you know, you can... Let's see. This is a neutral combo. There's not much you can do after that. Let's see. You can follow up like that if you wanted to, but you can also do that with the down combo. So overall, it's whatever. Now down combo. That's it, right? So what you're going to want to do is do one, two, three, four, five hits, and then dash at your opponent like that by double tapping the A or X button, depending on what controller you're playing. X for PS4, A for Xbox One, of course, or 360. If you're using a 360 controller on the PC, I don't know, man. Or if you're playing with keyboard, who knows? Maybe you're a cool guy. Who knows? So, again, down combo. Eh, whatever. Up combo is where it's at, and this is why. Cancel every... You can pretty much do whatever the hell you want after the fifth hit. One, two, three, four, five. After this hits, you can do literally anything you want. I mean, it's limited, but you can either A, hit him with your Jutsu, B, hit him with your ultimate. You can hit him with the team ultimate. You can jump up and do an air combo. You can jump up, do a reset, switch out to your opponent and go for a, a grab or shield pressure mix up. Really, really good. So let's go with the Jutsu. There you go. Combo did massive damage. Dropped the opponent right in front of you and he's on fire. Look at that. His health isn't regenerating. It's going down. So pretty good stuff. Now, let's do his ultimate. You're going to want to do it really fast like I just did. Because his startup ultimate, it's really bad. It takes a while to activate. I will show it once this is over. Really cool. Really, really cool. So real quick, we're going to send Madara to block everything. And now, so we do the Jutsu, right? See, the rocks appeared at Madara's feet. And then, boom. Then the Juby Tentails comes out. So pretty much the only way you're going to combo into that Jutsu is how I just showed you. I'll do it one more time. There you go. See? So that's how you're going to want to do it. Again, make sure you do your ultimate very fast after that launcher hits or else you're going to drop the combo. Because apparently I wasn't doing it fast enough for the Rinnegan Sasuke, but Rinnegan Sasuke can pretty much do the same thing. So... What else can you do with up combo? Okay, so now for that for that reset mix-up thing I was talking about. So this, this is pretty pretty fun to do. So one thing you can do, you jump up, uh, throw shurikens, immediately flick the stick to switch to whatever desired character, preferably someone with strong shield pressure like Eno or others that my mind escapes me. And when you land, you can go for a grab or go for shield pressure if your character excels at that. So if your opponent has no sub, they're not going to know what the hell's going on. They're not going to have time to dodge, especially if, you, if the person you switch out to has a good grab. You can also throw your defense tag. So right there, you lowered his defense, and now you're in his face again, ready to just not let up. Really good stuff. So let me see here. Oh god, I messed up. I broke his armor with shuriken. Nice. And there you go, you see? That's like a little mix-up you can do right there. Once your opponent is used to like, oh crap, I gotta block because he's gonna grab me, or, or I gotta block because he's gonna attack me. Um, boom, break their guard, hit him with an ultimate. So, so with this Obito, there's some pretty good setups like that. Now I need to show you that you can combo into the team ultimate. So now with the team ultimate, you're not gonna wanna do it immediately like this, or else Kakashi's gonna miss and then Obito's gonna run home. So, that's not good. Don't do that. What you're gonna have to do? Activate it. So I already have. I already pressed triangle on PS4 or Y on Xbox three times. I wait for a little bit for him to start falling. I think I did it way too early. Yeah, I did it way too early there. But basically, you want to have it activated and then wait a second while your opponent starts to fall. And when they start to fall, is when you're gonna want to do it. There you go. Easy. And now we get to watch this awesome team ultimate. So there you go. That's that pretty much covers uh, regular Obito. Let's see. We went over we went over his move set. I showed you jump cancel potentials. I showed you combos into Jutsu. I showed you combo into ultimate. Combo into secret. I mean into into team ultimate. I showed you a fun mix up reset you can do, which I just love doing this. I'm gonna do it again. It's just really cool. 
Like, I just love that. And then you're in his face. I, I completely forgot how to do block pressure with Takashi. So we'll just go with the grab. I, I messed it up, but you pretty much get the idea. With the proper character switching out to, that would be amazing. So there you have it. That pretty much covers basic Obito. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Again, I did record this twice. So I might be missing some things here and there. But all that's left to do is go over his Awakening. Where you, you, get, you get to... Now that he's in this awakening, you get to summon the, the Tentails whenever you want. You get to stomp around all over the place. You become really overpowered. Alright, I'm just fucking with you. Absolutely nothing changes. And I mean literally nothing if I'm wrong. Please say so below because I have no idea. So, he's in awakening. Awakening? You can't see me, but I'm doing air quotes. Here's his Jutsu. You know, exactly the same. You can't charge it. Can't do it in the air. Uh, his tilt? Literally exactly the same. Um, grab? Nope, exactly the same grab. All right, all right, maybe his combos are different. Come on, Cyber Connect 2. You can't let me down that hard, right? Everything's exactly the same. Well, there you have it. That pretty much covers Obito. His... Bread and butter, his fail safe technique, what you're gonna wanna be doing with him constantly is his up combo. One, two, three, four, five circle presses, B presses, whatever console controller you're playing on. You can follow up with the inner combo, follow up with your ultimate, follow up with team ultimate, follow up with some mix up shenanigans. There you go. That pretty much covers Obito. Um, again, like it always said in my description, I don't look up any videos on characters because I like to make up, I like to make my own content, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? My own content, my own style of videos, my own honest feedback, showing you guys stuff, etc. So I literally only play with the character for like 15 minutes, so sorry if it's not the best. And once again, as a reminder, I'll just do this while I talk, um, One Piece Burning Blood is coming out April 21st. I will be getting it before the American release, because the American release is on May 31st. That's a month and 10 day difference. So I'm going to be getting it. I'm going to be lost in confusion in all, at all the goddamn Japanese menus and Japanese names, because literally that game is super Japanese. There's absolutely no goddamn English text in it from what I saw, except for like maybe KO. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys get the game and want to play with me, just let me know. The reason I don't play with pretty much anyone uh, like fans or subscribers, etc. within this game is because I'm kind of tired of this game. I'm not really a big fan of it anymore. And literally, if you ever see me playing it, if you have me as a friend on PS4, it's only because I'm trying to record a video or training to record a video. So, yeah, sorry about that. With One Piece Burning Blood, though, it's going to be a fresh experience where no one's going to really know how to play the game. No one's going to have the world isn't going to know how to read the goddamn text or menu. So, I... <laughs> It's going to be an adventure. I plan on streaming it. I'll post videos in the... I'll make a video letting everyone know I'm streaming with the time, a set release, uh, a set date and everything. And I hope to see you guys there. And I'll, I will do One Piece character guys, uh, story mode playthrough if my PS4 lets me record it, etc. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And again, I know I just said I was going to record all that, but I do these videos, unfortunately, from my PS4. I record it from the PS4, upload it from the PS4, edit from the PS4. So unfortunately, you know, um, I might not have, I don't have the best quality and sometimes I can't record certain things because there's the, the PS4 blocks certain scenes if the game developers so choose. So I'm saying all these promises that I'm going to be doing One Piece stuff, but if the PS4 does not allow me to record One Piece content, I, uh, it's going to have to be set back a bit and I'm going to have to get a PC. I have a capture card, but I have to get a good PC to actually record content, you know, properly or better, which I do plan to do anyways. So thank you guys so much for over 2,000 subscribers. You guys are absolutely insane. If you're still here listening to me ramble, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. And again, just thanks for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed the guide. You will be seeing Asuma, Roshi, maybe Toby next up. Peace.